Hey guys and welcome back to the Swansea FIFA 17 career mode. We're going to do a squad report today because it's been a couple of weeks since we've done one of them. But first, we're going to be taking on Aston Villa, as you can see, and then West Ham United. A nice break in between, so the players will be fresh between those games. Champions League obviously now takes a backward step. Now the group stage has finished, I think it returns in February. So get December done. We've got a lot of fixtures to play this month. It's always busy over the Christmas period, so we need to just pick up as many points as we can, improve the squad in January if we need to, if we feel like there are some additions that we need to make, and then really kick on in the second half of this season. But we've got Aston Villa next, newly promoted, of course, at home. Let's jump in and see if we can get the win. Going to be without Gilfie, though, because he's not feeling up to it. I said a lot of players will be tired, but we have got a nice break in between these two games. So one rest, and he should be good to go. So we're going to set up the usual 4-3-3 formation. Sam Byram comes in to give Samedo a rest, and Tom Carroll is going to take the place of the tired Gilfie Sigurdsson in midfield. Villa are going with the 4-2-3-1 formation, most commonly used, I think, by clubs on FIFA here. Not a great deal of quality in that squad for me. A game we should be winning. Byron turns it around the corner to Roberto, who finds Dolberg. Touched on one more to Sanchez. Can't turn, but the ball drops back to Roberto. Shot was going into the bottom corner, but it's turned behind. Ball lofted forward. Headed on by Jednak, and that was not far away at all. Pickford was scared. Landed on the roof of the net. Lozano putting the defence under pressure. He's one possession back. He's into the box. Lozano going to take the shot because I was running out of room. Still going to try and take the shot and he's fired it through a crowd of players. Not sure how he's beaten the keeper from there. But we've got the lead on the half hour mark. Brilliant, brilliant play. He worked the opportunity for himself. So very much deserved to score through the legs of the defender. Ali Sissoko. Oh, clever turn. Lays it back. It's into the box. Jack Grealish here looking to turn. He stands the ball up. Grimaldo heads the ball away. Ali Sissoko's lost out to Carroll, who fires it into Dolberg. Nice turn from Dolberg, he's clipped in the box. Surely a pen ref. Danger's not cleared, Grimaldo. Back to Sanchez. Roberto in space, finesse it lad. Ooh, we nearly picked out the uh, the top corner. Villa on the attack here in first half stoppage time. Michael Keane's been booked, so he can't really dive in here. Just going to have to stand him up. Cross is driven in, it's a corner. Villa have looked quite dangerous from set pieces. That Jednak header early on in the game. Mika Richards is there. And he's headed it onto the roof of the net as well. Half-time whistle goes. So we're quite fortunate to be ahead. We haven't created a great deal. Neither have Villa, really. They've been, like I said, dangerous from set pieces. But we've got the lead. 45 minutes to hold it. Jordan Ayew lays it off to Bakuna. Challenge comes in. Jordan Ayew hits a snapshot. Luckily, straight at Pickford. And if he looks up, Jordan Pickford, we could have been away there. But the distribution was not great. Villa coming forward yet again. Jordan Ayew dispossessed here by Lamos. Inyaki Williams making a run down the right-hand side. Lamos has been caught, but Williams has been found. Play will go on. Dolberg back to Williams. Might stand this up. Have done. Coming in is Sanchez. Oh, he's headed it wide. Good effort. Got an injury, apparently. Lamos cannot continue after that challenge by Jedinak. So, Alfie Mawson will come into this. Hope that's not serious, though. Lamos has been brilliant. Lozano and Grimaldo waiting out to the left. Ball is worked into Sergio Roberto. Grimaldo continues his run. He's got free of the defence. Tried to lift it over the goalkeeper who rushed out and made a good save. Making a double change here. Dolberg and Carroll to go off. Dembele and Kessie coming on. Just about 20 minutes to go. Oh, Sanchez has one possession beautifully in midfield. And there's a runner. It's Roberto who is not the quickest player. But he should have the pace to get away. Can he apply the finish? Oh, I'm not even going to say anything about that. At all. Jack Grealish coming forward. Sam Byram says, yep, not going any further, mate. And then gives the ball straight back to Aston Villa. Richards pings one over the top. Grimaldo needs to win that, and he has done. We're under a little bit of pressure, but there's always the risk when you play against us because of the pace we've got out wide in Lozano and Williams that you will be hit on the counter-attack. Lozano cuts inside. He could finish this off here. Oh, it's blocked. He's going to have another effort, is he? No. Ball is given back to Lozano, though. Here is Sergio Roberto. Lays it off. Williams, Sanchez, Williams, good move here, looks for Dembele, ref, he just grabbed me, oh, what is the keeper doing there, maybe if I'd have stayed on my feet I could have taken it off him, so Villa throwing everything they've got at us now, Michael Richards has gone up to play up front, Westwood is dispossessed by Byron though, we've just got to be solid for the last 10 minutes or so, Carlos Sanchez being solid there, he's giving the ball to Jack Grealish, who obviously has that technical ability, Twisting, turning. He's created a bit of room for himself. Picks out Westwood, who goes down in the box. Michael Richards has the shot and hits it at his poor teammate, who's laying on the floor. Roberto finds Sanchez. We've got Villa on the back foot here. Lozano out wide. Look at the men free in the middle. I think it's Kessie across there. 
We're going to pick him out. Oh, it's not the best ball. It's not the best ball, but it's gone back to Lozano. He finesses one. That was a cheeky effort. Good save. Chance for Villa. Jordan Ayew plays it forward. And Carlos Hill, is, he's got numbers with him here. Alfie Morrison trying to get back. What a terrible, terrible cross. And what a wasted opportunity. Got a corner here and a chance to seal it. Corner's driven in. Michael Keane out of absolutely nowhere with a power header. Ball's dropped down. Dembele, Kessie. Oh, no. That is not the place to lose it. It's three on two for Villa. And the ref has done us a massive favour and brought this game to an end. Three points for us. We were in trouble there. That's a bruised shoulder for Lamos. That's good news. He's not going to be out for long. Just nine days. And we've got a long break, of course, till our next league game. So he probably won't miss any action. Michael Keane suspended because he's picked up too many yellow cards. And Gilfie Sigerson thanks us for the rest. So West Ham with a 4-2-3-1 formation. Not a strong squad from them either. They have got some decent attacking threats. But Payet, who obviously has now gone to Marseille, is on the bench. As is Ayu, former Swansea man. We are without our two first choice centre-backs. Uh, Lemos, who is injured and keen suspended. So Alfie Mawson and Fernandez, who hasn't had a lot of game time, are going to be the defence today. And Dembele starts up top. Fernandez, good interception, finds Sigurdsson, lays it off to Sergio Roberto, looks to clip it over the top, couldn't do it, but Sigurdsson takes over, he's got runners to his right, Dembele is one of them, good chance here to take the lead, Moussa Dembele, good shot, saved by Adrian. That was a tough challenge from Antonio, and Sanchez has been left in a heap on the floor, and that did look like a nasty one, that better not be serious either. I think Tom Carroll is going to come on in his place. Tom Carroll sprays the ball left. Lozano one-on-one -on -one with the defender where he likes to be. And he's completely left Arbeloa standing. He's desperately trying to get back. He's not going to catch him. Lozano got no real options in the box. We're going to have to come back out. Great turn by Tom Carroll. Going to hit one on his right foot. Saved by Adrian. Lozano into Dembele who's come deep to get the ball. He helps it on to Gilfie Sigurdsson. He's got Pulisic. Out ride, out ride, out wide even, and Pulisic's turned. Ah, uh, ball drops to Gilfie. He's found Roberto. Nice little sidestep. Not happening, is it? Fernandez finds Carroll. Need to build something. We're starting to dominate. Pulisic. Ball drops to Carroll. Needs a runner to his left. He's got Gilfie. Gilfie takes a touch. Gilfie hits the shot. Adrian, what are you doing? He's made a right mess of that. And Christian Pulisic at the back stick. Dives in, reacts the quickest and pokes it home. That's terrible goalkeeping. Adrian has held or parried everything that we've thrown at him so far. He just didn't know what to do with that. Antonio plays the ball to Arbeloa. Turns backwards. This is good defending, making West Ham go back. And Dembele might get there. Oh, Henry's done wonders. Here's Fernandez, who lays it off to Cuyate. Into Sacco Pickford with a great stop. And it's headed away. What a chance for West Ham. Fernandez. West Ham coming forward yet again. Lays it out wide to Antonio. Probably the most dangerous attacking threat so far. Lays the ball inside. Cuyate. Antonio blocked by Mawson. That's risky. That was risky. I thought that was going to be a pen. But we've lost out again. Mawson doesn't deal with it. Samedo is just going to get this away. Or oh, he's going to be munched. It's going to be a corner. Goal kick. Free kick. How about that? Free kick. We'll get there in the end. On the stroke of half time here. Fernandez heads the ball away. Is there a chance to double our lead? No, there isn't. We're 1-0 up, thanks to a poor piece of goalkeeping, really, from Adrian. He's made some good saves, though. We've had other chances. West Ham have had a couple of chances as well. Just a narrow one-goal advantage. It's their defence that I think is their weak link. They've got a strong midfield. They're quite good going forward, but they're, they're centre-back pairing. We need to put them under a bit more pressure. Gilfie into Roberto. We've got another man down. It's Sergio Roberto now. What is it with these... In oh, he's just Hang on a minute. That was like a miracle. Just moaning about how he was down and then he jumped up and carried on. I'm relieved, but that was ridiculous. Free kick, which we're going to lay short to Carroll. He's going to help it on to Roberto. Back to Carroll. First time effort. Never again. I went near the corner flag. Sigurdsson. Roberto. Mawson. Dembele. Good football this. Pulisic is out wide. Here he is. Got Cresswell to beat. He's cut inside. The goal scorer. Still got possession. Looks to thread it through. He's found Lozano instead. I actually wanted that to go to Gilfie. Carroll. Look how compact this West Ham defence is. Gilfie trying to get it onto his right foot. Turns. Going to lay it off. Pulisic looking for his second. Oh, that's magic. That is absolutely magic. The build-up play. The finish. Unbelievable goal. We've doubled our lead. And that, surely we're just over 20 minutes. Look what it means to the boys as well. They're all running over to celebrate. They know what a great goal that was. Pulisic second. Of the game, and surely now we're just over 20 minutes to go. That has secured all three points once again. But Gilfie twisting and turning. That finish, though. Pick that out. 
perfection. Gilfie looks up, sees Pulisic, who's now on a hat-trick. Could get in behind his man here. It's a good touch. He's skipped over the challenge, stands the ball up. Uh, Lozano. What are you doing, lad? That was on a plate. You just had to you just had to make a connection with it. What a miss. Grimaldo has dispossessed his man. Finds Dembele, who's been quiet. Pulisic's on a hat-trick. Pulisic's been found. Touch. And he's tried to roll it in. Adrian saves and Dembele should have let that go out for a corner. West Ham have been so poor. It's like quite surprising when you look at the league table and they're down in the relegation zone. But when you actually play them, it, you realise it isn't actually a surprise. They are just a very, very poor side. Lacking quality defensively. Look, they're just so easy to open up. Yes, we've got a two-goal lead. And yes, they're pushing men forward, trying to find a way back into it. But, oh, Dembele. They've just been so easy for us to carve open, especially in the second half. Giving possession away like that as well. Nothing's gone right for them. Sergio Roberto, he's got Gilford, he's got options everywhere. He's found Dembele, take a touch, pull it back. Can he finish? Yes, he can. It's 3-0, it's too easy. Full-time whistle goes, just as West Ham were building an attack, but they were poor, as their league position suggests. Easy victory in the end. So as I said earlier, we'll do a quick cheeky squad report. It's got a bit dark in here, so I've turned the light on if you're wondering why I suddenly changed colour. But the aim of the squad report, just to see, going into January, where we need to improve. I'm going to shoot through it quite quickly, but if there's a player that you want to see in more detail, then of course, do just pause it and have a look at their stats. This guy, probably leaving at the end of his contract, which expires in seven months. Samedo, he's been absolutely solid this year so far. Stats are going up as well. Sergio Roberto, probably one of my favourite players, and obviously scored that winning goal in arguably one of the best Champions League comebacks of all time. I didn't watch it, so I'm a little bit bitter about that because I was watching an NBA game, but Sam Byram's come in and played well. Kyle Norton is a player that we're looking to get rid of in this transfer window if we can. Fernandez had to come in due to injury and suspension problems in the last game. He's a good player, Fernandez. I just don't know what to do with him because we're not utilising him. Alfie Mawson actually scored yesterday, so um, credit to him. I think he'll be one for the future. Definitely a player I want to keep hold of. Only valued at 2.2 million, though, which is ridiculous. Lemos is capable of scoring absolute bangers. He scored a few for us, well, two in the Premier League so far for this season, and both of them have been outside the area. Van der Horn probably might, well, probably might, might look to move him on in the January transfer window. Not sure. He's only 25, so a lot to come from him. Michael Keane, no overall increase for him so far this season, which is a little bit disappointing. Kyle Bartley, his contract is up in seven months. Good player. Spent last year on loan at Leeds. Only 26 as well. Not sure what we're going to do with him. Grimaldo, one of the top players at the club. Stephen Kingsley's out for a while with a broken ankle. Um, as you can see here, he's back in eight weeks. He's a good player. He's the one who rotates um, with Grimaldo. Neil Taylor, a player that we're looking to sell. Hopefully that will happen in the upcoming transfer window. He's also unhappy. Pulisic scored a couple of goals in the last game. So credit to him. That finish that went in off the crossbar was absolutely superb. It doesn't get that much game time because of the form of Iñaki Williams. Ryan Hedges out on loan. Renato Sanchez, good player. All-rounder, really. Look at his stats. There's not a lot that you can't do. Scored four goals as well. I think he'll go on to be probably one of the best players at the club. He already is, but he'll only continue to improve. Kessie's kind of been banished from the squad since we got Sergio Roberto, who does that holding role very well, but a good player to have in your squad. As is this man, Tom Carroll, scored a banger against Juventus. I think there'll be a lot more to come from him. Harrison Carter, probably sell him. Only worth 160k. His contract's actually up at the end of this season anyway, so we might let him go. Jay Fulton doesn't get any game time, neither does Sheehan, Grimes. Blair and Byers are out on loan. Montero, his contract's running out in seven months. A player of his pace, always a threat, always a danger. I just can't get him into the team. Gilfie Sigurdsson, not sure if he's been as key as he has last year. He's obviously wearing the captain's armband still, and he's 83 rated, so he's not going anywhere. Leroy Fair, normally on the bench, sometimes doesn't even make the squad because of Kessie. Might look to move him on, but I don't really want to. Inyaki Williams, superb. Sprint speed of 99. Acceleration, 27 million he's valued at now. We paid 22 for him and he will only improve. He started to hit form for us, so that's pleasing. Robinson, he's valued at a mil. I might try and offload him because we should have left him in the academy. That was my bad. Moussa Dembele, 21 years old. Not seen a great deal from him, but we know he's capable. We did score a hat-trick in the Champions League recently, but um, doesn't score as many as we would have liked. Dolberg also not been that prolific this season. He's obviously 80 rated now, which is great. And he is still an exciting prospect. But we haven't got a striker that we say, do you know what? This guy will get you 20, 30 goals a season because the goals come from other places, mainly the wide players. But poor old Fernando Llorente, his stats going down. He hasn't had a lot of games 
at all. I think we're going to have to say the end is near for him. Alexander Isak scored three and three, but that's when you include pre-season and the early stages of the EFL Cup. But quite a bit to come from him. He's a, a handy squad player. Bobby Biat Botti Biatti even on the bench doesn't really get any game time. Ollie McBurney doesn't get any game time. His stats are okay. They, his overall's gone up by two, but he's valued at a mil. He might leave the club. Lozano, brilliant. Probably the player of the season so far for me. Um, poor man's Hazard, as I called him in the past, but he is exactly that. That's what he gives you, that skill, that creativity out on the wing. Look, he's just such a machine. And Daniel James, I think, is the bottom of the list. So that's the squad. Let me know any areas you think we should improve. Probably don't really need to. Our squad is good. I'm not going to make changes for the sake of making changes. Just want to keep it settled. And the good news is we are ending this episode top of the pile. We've obviously topped the Champions League group. We're now top of the Premier League as well. But we are level on points with Spurs, Everton third, Chelsea fourth, Liverpool fifth. Some big clubs, United and Arsenal in mid-table. Middlesbrough, West Ham, who we convincingly beat. And QPR are still in the relegation zone. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Make sure you drop a like. Thank you, as always, for watching and your support in the series so far. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you next time.